If you're just starting to learn how to sing and make harmonies in your songs, but you don't know exactly how to do that yet, then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to create really nice harmonies in your vocals. And if you're into finding new ways like this to improve your music, then you should go check out my website. I have three available vocal presets on there that are exactly for people like you who are trying to improve your music. One of them is the Caleb James lead vocal preset, which is completely free. And it's just a really nice lead vocal preset that I created for you guys. So if you're really into that kind of stuff, then you should go check that out. I'll put it as the first link in the description. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so before before we start actually making the harmonies it's important to understand what a harmony actually is and basically what a harmony is is a part in the song where the person is layering their vocals so there's more than one of them singing the exact same lyrics but the melody varies and the notes harmonize with each other and by harmonize I mean that when the two notes sound exactly on top of each other they sound very nice together and they go well with the rest of the song so that's basically what a harmony is in its simplest form and I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that I use to make my harmonies really easy to find and also a solid foundation on how you can make harmonies for a lot of your songs so the first thing that you're gonna need before you start making harmonies right here is the lead vocal right here and the lead melody the main melody of the song so right here this is one of my songs off of my new EP I'll put that link in the description as well so you can go check that out too but yeah anyways this is the hook of the song right here and this is the lead main melody of the hook right here so I'm gonna play it All you was saying before it's gonna take my heart All that I meant to come close I've been pushing far So yeah, that's the main melody right there And that's the melody that's gonna be right in the front And what you're gonna hear most when you're listening to this song But we need a way to deconstruct this melody And really find those harmonies that fit around it well And that'll sound good in the background So right here, I have two distinct harmonies right here That I put behind the lead vocal right here And the lead melody So the way I like to go about it is I do a high harmony and a low harmony so right here we're gonna start with the low harmony and what I'm doing for this harmony is I'm starting on a different note than I did for the lead melody right here but I'm making sure that that note is still in the key and a way that you can always know that your note is in the key is if you're using an auto tune like right here this is the stock FL plugin you can see which notes are in the key and if you're singing the correct note so you know that at least the note that you're singing is in the key now I'm not saying that every two notes in a key will sound perfect on top of each other but if you just try every single note out within the key and you have it in your mind that you're doing a lower harmony then you should be able to find one that works well with the lead melody so right here this is the start note that I found Are you was so as you can hear it is different if I play the lead one by itself Are you was it sounds a little bit different Are you was so yeah those notes are just slightly different same lyrics and same flow but different melody so this is literally how I start out all of my harmonies okay so the next step after you got that starting note of the low harmony right here you can start to construct more of the harmony so since I I knew I was doing the low harmony I just kept within those lower notes and kept kind of humming my way through the harmony and trying out different notes that are within the key also another tip that I have is you can listen to the lead melody right here while you're humming it out so you can play it Are you and then just hum your harmony behind that just to make sure it sounds good and then once you have that idea in your head you can really refine that idea and make sure all the notes are within the key and that is a very solid way to start creating harmonies but yeah anyways once I got my starting note right here and the fact that I know that I'm in the lower notes I just started constructing more of the harmony so this is what I came up with Are you and once I have my starting note that is kind of the note that I'll always go back to in the harmony so as you can hear in this first lead melody I go back to the starting note of this one a lot Are you it's gonna take my heart all that I see at the start of both of these phrases right here Are you all that I I go back to that same note. So I'm doing something very similar right here with the low harmony, just a different note. Are you as you can hear we're keeping the same notes and tone all the way through the harmony so yeah that's how you kind of make sure that the harmony has the same vibe all the way through and also again use the auto tune as your friend to help you with these notes so once you found that bass note in this case it's the G right here as you can see that note was G you can really use the auto tune plugin to help you stay on track with your notes and make sure your harmony is consistent all the way through. So yeah, once you kind of know the specific notes you want to hit and you hum out kind of a vague idea for the harmony, it's gonna be a lot easier to construct a full harmony. So this is what I came up with for the first half of the low harmony. Are you it's gonna take my heart. All that I meant to come close. 
And this is what it sounds like with the lead vocal on top of it. You um, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so you can hear it. You it's gonna save my heart. All that I meant to come close. I've been pushing far. So yeah, as you can see, those notes do really complement each other, and it sounds really cool when you're singing the exact same lyrics and flow, but the melodies are completely different from each other. So in my opinion, that would be a very good harmony. So yeah, once we get into the second half of this harmony, the melody really switches up, as you can hear um, in the lead melody. All you've said and all you've done with me. As you can see, it really takes a turn and adds more variety. So we're going to do the exact same thing in the harmony. Just again, we're going to find a bass note that is different from the lead melody and then just build our harmony off of that. So as you can hear, the bass note for the lead melody right here is this. Oh, you said and then the bass note that I chose for the low harmony is this. Oh, you said and I so as you can hear, they are different, but they still complement each other. So that is going to make it very easy for us to build our harmony off of. So yeah, again, I just used the same techniques that I was talking about earlier. I just kind of hum a harmony out that I think kind of sounds good. And then I just refine that melody until it becomes a full harmony. So this is what I came up with for the second half of the low harmony. All you said and all you don't mean, now I don't know what to think. And then at the end there, I just added a little bit more variety to the melody because it's the end phrase of the chorus. And I just think it sounds good right there. So I just wanted to make the end a little bit more unique. So this is what the full chorus sounds like with the lead melody and the low harmony. Oh, you were saying before, it's going to save my heart. All that I meant to come close, I've been pushing far. All you said and all you've done with me. So yeah, as you can see, all those notes complement each other, but the melodies are still completely different. So that is a good harmony. Okay, so now moving on to the second harmony, this is going to be the higher harmony. And now that you've already created one harmony, it is going to be hard to find a melody that is different from the lead melody and the one that we just added, which is the low harmony. But we're still just going to stick to the same technique of finding a really good bass note that does complement both of the other melodies, but it's just a completely different note. And then just like before, we're going to keep in mind that it's going to be a higher harmony. So we're going to stick to some of those higher notes within the key, and we should be able to construct a very good harmony off of it. So this is the bass note that I chose for the high harmony right here. And as you can see, um, it's that C right there. But as you can hear, I am singing higher than the low harmony. So this is the low harmony right here. Are you was and this is the high harmony. Are you so I am giving it that variety by making a high harmony and a low harmony, which I just personally think sounds good. You don't have to do this. You can keep them in the same tone, but I just like doing this because I think it brings uniqueness to the vocals. The bass note that I chose for the high harmony right here was that C. Are you and I just thought it complemented the other two notes well. So I just decided to build my high harmony off of that. So what I did after that was Again, I just hummed out a kind of vague melody that I thought might sound good with the other ones. And how I did this for the second melody is I just, again, played the lead vocal in the background and then just hummed to it until I found something that I liked. But I also kept in mind the low harmony so that I made sure that I didn't sing the exact same one as the low harmony because I still wanted it to be a unique melody. But I also needed to make sure that it matched well with the lead melody. So yeah, I just hummed out the melody and then refined it. And this is what I came up with for the first part of the high harmony. Are you saying before it's gonna take my heart? All that I meant to keep going, I've been pushing far. So again, we're going back to that bass note a lot and making sure we're keeping within the same notes, also in a higher register, which makes it relatively easy to build and create a really good harmony that is unique from the other two melodies within the chorus. So yeah, that's what I came up with right there for the high harmony. And then for the second half, I just used the exact same techniques as I did for the other harmony. And this is what I came up with. And again, at the end there, I just added something unique just because I thought it sounds good. And I think it gives a lot of variety to the vocal. So one last thing that I like to mention about creating harmonies is that you don't have to like nitpick the melody and make sure all the notes are different. I think sometimes if some notes match up and they are the same exact note playing at the same time, it will still sound good. And that is exactly why I do a high harmony and a low harmony, because if you're singing a note in a lower register and then at the same time singing the same exact note, but in a higher register, then it's still going to give that unique feel. 
and really separate the melodies. So yeah, after I added both of those harmonies, this is what the full chorus sounds like. Are you So as you can hear, there's a lot of variety in all those melodies, but they still sound good and they are very cohesive with each other. So in my books, those are some good harmonies. So yeah, that's my full tutorial on how to create harmonies. Again, if you want to see more ways to improve your music, you can check out my website where I have three available vocal presets. One of them is completely free. And yeah, I just really want to help you guys improve your music. So you can check that out right now after this video. That link is going to be the first one in the description. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Are you it's gonna save my heart